All right, well, this message could be for you. We will just see. This could be an almost personal reading for you. I hope it resonates. Take what you need. Leave the rest for others, please. Um, I still have one more personal reading I'm waiting on today. I'm just waiting to get a response from one of my um, subscribers so I can continue with her reading. So if you're interested in a reading, you all just let me know, okay? I still have my sale going on until the end of the month. The $10, 15 minute freestyle reading. It's open if you're if you're interested, but you don't have to purchase a reading. Spirit, give me messages for the early Virgo. This could be an almost personal reading for you. I hope you're able to resonate. Oh, we have the tower. Okay. Um, I think somebody, you know, did something to you that was devastating. Maybe they they took something for you from you. Maybe a car. Okay. Maybe. They robbed you. They robbed you. They took something probably at gunpoint or at knife point or something. Like you got carjacked or something, okay? And you just decided to leave the state altogether because you couldn't get over this that happened to you. And you told your family and your friends, I'm, I can't live here anymore because I don't feel safe in my own community, in my own town. So you took the leap of faith and you say, fuck it, I'm done. I can't live here anymore, okay? So we got the fool here. The fool, the fool energy. Okay, you got to do what's best for you. If something happened to you that was tragic, or you know, if somebody stole from you because you you couldn't trust where you laid your head anymore, so you just said, "I'm done. I'm bouncing. I'm getting the fuck up out the out of dodge." You know, we started with the tower moment. This is something that hit you very, very hard. Is this somebody stole something from you? Okay, and they stole. Maybe they. they I see a carjacking here, though. You know, the Ace of the ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So you can make your life elsewhere. You don't have to stay somewhere where you're uncomfortable. You know, going someplace, doing something different, like revitalizing yourself uh, and, and, and to re revitalizing your spirit. They can say, look, I'm, I'm destined for something else. You know, maybe what happened to you, this time moment that hit you, pushed you to do something that you were destined to do, to do anyway, but you were just dragging your feet about it and you weren't really... Um, you weren't really moving at your best level anyway because of, you know, because of maybe laziness or, or you said, well, I'm going to do this and you end up changing your mind like mind like you're dragging your feet about something. And this person stole something from you for you because we have a chariot here, okay, and you tried to go after it, okay. And you couldn't catch that person who stole something from you. It could have been a, a motorcycle. It could have been a car. It could be your any, uh, emotions, feelings, or whatever. But it's like you have to let that go. Because it was too late. You couldn't catch that person. Okay. But it happened like this for a reason. Because you're stuck in a situation that you need to get out of. This tower moment hit you Virgo. And it hit you damn hard. Okay. It pushed you to move forward. It pushed you to do better for yourself. And for your family. Okay. Aren't things a lot differently before this negative things happened to you? Before this negative thing happened to you? You may have saw that in a negative light, and it was. You know, the tower moment hit you, and it hurt, you know, but you're still here. You're still walking this earth. You're still breathing every doggone day, all right? All right. Spirit, please give me a message for the Virgo Collective. Message for the Virgo Collective, please. Oh, we have King of Cups, followed by the Two of Wands. The Six of Wands. This is movement. This is being recognized. This is somebody saying, I like what I see over there. Work. You're being recognized at work, getting ready to get a promotion, getting ready to get... Uh, some extra money like like a stipend or a bonus or something maybe you can put this bonus toward making some repairs to your roof uh, or getting your your car fixed or repaired on or kind of like paying the down payment on a car or a big ticket purchase or something here yeah is this is you taking a sleep maybe you want to take a trip to Vegas or something to play the damn slot machines or whatever because you got it you know you got it all, okay? We have a fool card. This this two of of um, of of swords wanted to fall out. So there's something that's really conflicting you. Something that's really really bothering you. Maybe it's about what to do with this money that you're getting. This new income. This extra income. That's not going to be used against you for tax purposes. You know, it's like, man, I'm going to take this and I'm going to spend it all. Because you damn well deserve it, Virgo. Yes, you do. 
You got this ace of cups. You got this opportunity. What's headed next for me? What is it that I can do? You can be recognized at work. You about Some of you are possibly retiring from work. You got the Wheel of Fortune here and opportunity. You got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Goddamn, can I be your best friend today? Mm, mm, mm. And you're going to have to beat them off with a stick. You got so many blessings coming. Hell, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some Virgo in and get the fuck off my doorstep. Don't knock on my door. I'll call you when I need you. Don't call me. Okay? So you're going to have to leave a lot of people out in the cold. Okay? And everybody don't need to know about your blessings, Virgo. Everybody don't need to know about... Your good graces. Everybody don't need to know about what you got in your damn pocketbook or in your bank account, in your wallet. They don't need to know. Okay? Because you're going to be fighting them off with a stick. People begging. People saying, well, I heard you come up on some cash, Virgo. Can I have this? I need to get my tire fixed. I need to get my baby some school clothes. Whatever. I'm not telling you to be selfish. Okay? But, you know, why were them when you needed them? Okay? Now, all of a sudden, you want to come up. Now you want to come up. Now you're going to get some good things happening for you. Everybody want to come knocking on your door. I need this. I need that. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you take me there? Can you get my car fixed? I know you got the extra cash. Can you? Can you? Can you? No, 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 no. Get the fuck on. You have to be running away from a lot of people. Like they begging for me. I can't do this anymore. I can't handle this anymore. Let's go, Trigger. Let's go. Let's go, Trigger. Let's go. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I had to cut my air on. I am burning up. Woo. Sorry. Okay. okay. Virgo, give me more messages for you. Spirit, give me more messages for the Virgo. And actually, what I'm doing now, I'm picking people out of the comment section. <clears throat> I'm doing like any individual small readings for you. For you. you you'll you never know who it is because I'm not going to say it. So I have sometimes when I do this, people will, will comment in the, in the comment section, is this message for me? If it's for you, if it resonates for you, then it was for you. But I'm never ever going to say who I'm reading for, okay? So this reading is for people in the comment section. I hope you're able to find this message and I hope it resonates, okay? Okay, Spirit, give me messages. For the Virgo, I hope this message, this almost personal message resonates with you. Messages for the Virgos, please, Spirit. Give me an almost personal message for the Virgo. The Ace of Swords. We have the King of Swords. Acting acting on your thoughts here. This, this is like you're being blessed to do something here. To move forward. And to, you know, to listen more to your intuition. Because some of you seem to really, really ignore your intuition or you get a hunch about something or somebody and you let it go you don't say i should have i should have followed my first mind i should have did that when i had the money or when i had the chance but i blew it because you want to listen to your intuition you have the magician here inside of you you have all the gifts to do something you have a trade that you have learned that you are not using even if that trade is learning how to do tarot, you know, opening up your own tarot channel or something like this, reading for people, reading people's energy here, okay? Some of you all don't trust your own judgment when it comes to your intuition. I had this reading for somebody today. I think it was a personal reading. I don't remember because I've been doing readings all day, but somebody's not trusting, trusting their spiritual judgment. It may have been the first reading I did for you all, Okay? It's something about your spirituality that you're not trusting or that the people who love you and care about you don't really trust that you're doing this. You know, or they don't trust that you know what the hell you're doing anyway. Okay? Sometimes you have to hide your spiritual gifts from people, especially this female here, and go on about your business and live your life. No matter what people say. No matter what, this is your life. You know, I had a conversation about this earlier with somebody about me and what I do in my... This is my house. If you're not going to pay the bills... Why should you give a fuck about how I make my damn money? Period. You know, people have issues with you doing tarot or with you doing something outside of the church. The ba I grew up in a Baptist church, okay? And I still love the Lord. I still do. But I'm still going to read the cards. I'm still going to read people's energy because I feel like this is what I've been destined to do with my life. And I don't give a fuck who doesn't like it. Period. So you have that same issue here. You have, you have to defend yourself from an opinionated individual in your life. 
whether it be a male or whether it be a female here. But this is your life. This is your wheel of fortune. This is you helping other people. And you have to leave what no longer serves you. You have to really, really let go of people and the energy that they that they that they push your way when it comes to your spiritual when it comes to your spirituality. We we you can't but you can't always believe in, in what other people believe in. They can't they don't have to always believe in what you believe in. But this is your life, okay? I can't tell you what to do. They can't tell you what to do. This is your life. Do what you feel the need is be, that's best for you. Making the best decision. What's best for you, Virgo? What is best for you? Almost personal reading for the earthlies, please. And I'm picking people out of the comment section, okay? And I'm just pulling cards for you. You don't know who you are, but I do. Wow, this is you standing up for yourself more. You need to stand up for yourself more because because of you because you are a good person. People tend to run over you because you have a good heart and you wear your heart on your sleeve, and they throw you under the bus every damn chance they get, okay? And you need to, to you need to grow some balls, okay? You need to grow some big titties. Take your high resumes with you, cause they're gonna keep on throwing you under the bus, you know. But you gotta you gotta let these people know. I'm gonna stand up to I'm gonna stand up for myself. And this is you, in hermit mode. Like damn, why do I keep getting hurt? Why do I keep going through this same old shit? But it's just a different day. But I keep going through the same old negativity, the same old nonsense. Because I'm a Virgo. Because I have such a good heart. People walk all over me. But you got I tell them you got to stand up for yourself. Carry a big stick, you know, and beat some people down with it. Not, not, um, not physically, but you get it figuratively. You know, you, you got to knock some people out of your way. Get some people out of your way. You got to kill them with kindness, pretty much. And that's the problem. You do it. You, and that's the problem. Stop killing people with so much kindness. How about that? You know, stop. Because when you see this, 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 this person coming for you. I already have that big stick out ready to, and ready to, to fumble. Ready, Get this big stick ready to, to tackle anybody who comes your way. Any other nonsense or negativity. You got to start using that stick instead of just holding it in your hand. I'm sure you got it in your hand for a reason. Boss up. Okay? You got to go within and know, know that you're stronger than that. Okay? You got too many people on your damn shirt tail. Virgo, okay. This person who's who's trying to come back to you, want to talk that sweet shit in your ear, they still fucking around with other people. You gotta let it go. Okay, move on away from that person and find love. You'll find love somewhere else. You're gonna have a lover in the meantime, okay? A person who you just knocking boots with, okay? But eventually, here, this you got somebody else. Not to say that this this booty call, this booty delicious person, is not gonna make you fuck them. You know, well shit, you know. Anyway, you got a lover here coming. You got a person from your past who's going to try to come in and, and replicate the relationship, but it's over with that person. Because if you get back with them, you're going to keep on getting hurt. Okay? So find a way to get over that bastard. Okay? And we got the chariot moving on. But when you move on, I got you with two of cups. I got the sun card and I got the lovers. So I kind of see you having to make a choice. You know, I think one of them, I'm hearing in my head, <laughs> you know, you got love coming. You got true love coming for you. And they're going to make you very happy. But while you're doing your life in training for this new love, I got, what, what is it? See, I lost that thought. Mm, mm, mm. We got the sun card and we got the lovers. That was a phrase that I was getting, but it just went it went right out of my head. God, dog, I hate when it happens. <sighs> I can't remember what it was. Um, but you got a lover um, coming in. And this is strictly just a lover. You know, maybe y'all decide to just be fuck buddies or something like that. Or shag buddies, as somebody put it, you know, one time. You know, uh, that you're going to have a good time with. You know, batteries not included. You know, you don't need batteries to fuck this person, you know. Gonna be on the pop. Somebody you're going to enjoy getting naked with, okay, for the time being. Yeah, because you may find out that this person's in another relationship. Because we got a secret here, we got the Harold from here. But y'all just fuck buddies, so it's it's not really. Yeah, see, I told. You. Fuck buddies. So. Oh, I, I know what it was for entertainment purposes only. So this connection, this sexual connection, are you gonna that you're gonna end up with is for entertainment entertainment purposes only. You are gonna get you some Virgo, Virgo gal or Virgo man. 
for entertainment purposes only. That's the phrase that, I, that was coming to my head. So, all right, I think I'm done. I hope this message resonates with some of you. I hope it resonates with a lot of you, but it definitely should resonate with people who have posted the last couple of days. All right, talk to you later. I picked a few people, maybe four or five people, to do a, a silent uh, reading for, and I hope you pick up on the message, okay? Talk to y'all later. Thank you again for your support.